Hey, it's Richie923 and I'm on Geek Status. August is Power Month, which means we'll be celebrating Power Rangers 29th anniversary. And all month long, we'll be highlighting the legacy of Power Ranger toys. Let's start with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 1993. So here we have the original 1993 lineup, starting with the Power Morpher, 8-inch Red Ranger, and the Deluxe Megazord. All right, let's take a look at the Power Morpher. So this was the key to the Ranger's powers. So this is the original release. A uh, little word of note, they reversed the labels here, uh, inversed them rather, on the American release. Uh, the Japanese original toy was supposed to be like this with a button on the side. Uh, but they mislabeled it, so us kids in the U.S. had backward morphers for a little bit. And yeah, this is uh, when you morph. That's that god-awful sound. That's it. Hear that squealing? Yeah, that, that, that'll ward off any evil space aliens. It's like it's trying. I'm 30 years old, leave me alone. Yeah, there you go. And then it comes with the other four coins you get to pop it out with for whatever ranger was your favorite. Tyrannosaurus, of course. Uh, but actually, this is a, a repurchase. Uh, this isn't the original Morpher that I had as a kid. Um, this is the one here. So this is the Morpher I had growing up. This one I carried around with me as a kid. Yeah, I carried it around. You never know when uh, evil space aliens are going to show up, so... Um, I had the labels, uh, Repro labels. Actually, no, sorry, BD-15 decals hooked up these labels. And, uh, you can see it's, uh, one of those earlier prints, the letters are, are raised a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Letters are raised from the vinyl. So that's pretty cool detail there. Uh, additional decals on the back for G-Ranger. This is the one I grew up playing with. And, uh, I brought this to Power Morphicon back in 2016. Uh, and I had a photo op with, um, Austin St. John. And had a morph. It's morphin' time! It's you morphin' time! time. You stop jack my line, man! <laughs> Alright, man. Yeah. It's uh, morphin' time! Get magic to it, like, morph by Austin St. John. So, anyways. Uh, and then the original Dino Buckler belt buckle. It's compatible because it's the same mold. It snaps right in. So, boom. This is my morpher that I grew up playing. This is now on display. I now have another personal morpher. Um, Boom. These, these are, uh, again, decals from BD-15. Uh, but now the plates are metal, the coins metal. Uh, these are made by Starlight Studios. Uh, same base on the back. Actually, I added some, like, jewel that I got from an art store. Put it there. And then it's a uh, buckler. Boom. This is my personal morpher. Kind of, I call it the hybrid buckler. Celebrating both Jew Ranger and Power Rangers. And you see me use these in many Geek Status videos. It's Morphin' Time! So this is the one I carry around now on a daily basis. Anyways, let's move to... Boom! Jason holds this out. Morphin' Time! Two other stores! That's my Jason Force! Super posable for what we got... You know, back in the 90s. I can do some karate poses here. Yeah. You know, and after 30 years, plastic still holds up. But, yeah, sorry, this this uh, actually a, a recent purchase. I got this during the pandemic. Never owned one of these. So I figured, let's add one of these to, to the collection. I wanted to build a, a toy history part of my uh, uh, toy exhibit there for the Morphin Grid. I'll explain that in another video. But I wanted an actual 8-inch Red Ranger. Boom. I never had one of these growing up. My best friend did. Bartered all the time. <laughs> Can we get that Red Ranger? And borrow it? Just the playability is just awesome. You know, we were used to like five inch figures growing up. And then you see something like this, boom. Still in great condition. Uh, I got this mint in the box a couple years back. And then boom, out on, out on display. There we go. All right. And before we get to Megazord, uh, it's the bonus. Boom. The Automorphin 
Red Rangers, focus. Can we focus? Tyrannosaurus! Comes with this blaster. Comes with this power weapon, but uh, that's in storage. Didn't need that out. But uh, This was more in scale to, you know, the other figures that I had in my my toy collection at the time, so he got to fight uh, Bill and Ted at one point. Got to be in the phone booth. But this is not part of the original 1993 release. Uh, this was the year after they started releasing the smaller scale figures. But... All right, let's move on to the big kahuna. Deluxe Megazord. And uh, this I did not own as a kid, but was one of my first purchases when I got into toy collecting. Uh, the first Megazord I had was the Ninja Megazord, but uh, Never got a chance to own this one. Things like eBay weren't super popular, you know, for a kid like me at the time. So visiting toy stores were, were my thing. So toy hunting, picked this guy up. I was in Chinatown, early 2000s. Saw this sitting on display out a window in the box. Box was beat up, but I uh, checked it out. It was complete. Guy wanted 50 bucks for it. And I was like, sold, boom. Megazord. Still in great condition to this day. Check it out. Let's get all these little pieces out first. And again, pieces that, you know, I, I hear people lose these all the time. But this came complete in the box. Locked out. All right. Put that. Put that there. And these pieces. Right. This one had then. T-Rex himself. I swear, like, when I'm playing with these, like, I hear the theme song in my head, like... Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Sabertooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! I'm so mad. Tyrannosaurus! I'd be mad, too. Awesome. You got your fleet of dinosaurs right there. Complete. Great condition. See, I love the solo Chogokin Megazord, but I'm scared to play with it. Like, these just stand the test of time. And it's, you know, it's not terribly screen and accurate. It's, I mean, it's it's not, you know what I mean. These are just still fun to play with, like, 30 years later. All right, let's go in the... Let's put in the tank mode. One thing I see a lot in other toy reviews, you, got, you gotta bend these these knees from put them in tank mode properly. I, I see the T-Rex is kinda propped up on them. Details, man, details. <laughs> I always have to check which, go, the blue and the... All right. The Mastodon head. Right there. Arms come out. Boom. Take them feet. Then pterodactyl becomes like a satellite dish or something. I don't know. Boom. Tank mode. Get the knees properly forward. T Rex got that lean. Alright. And now, Megazord Seawoods has been initiated. Don head aside, and then she just flies off, flying around. And he goes, oh, oh, see, but I have faith. Bandai America got it. Thirty years later, that wing is okay. We'll be okay. This piece is off. I think I'm going back. These, these pieces, like, this, oh, kind of annoying. It's just, I wish they were part of the design, but whatever. And the fists. <laughs> I'm about to go. It's the wrong show. Zip. The real Megazord, please stand up. Real Megazord. Kind of. There you go. You gotta get the flying angle. Tucks right in. And then. Climactic. 
And then, boom, Megazord activated. Boom, Megazord. These guys, these guys, weapons. Mammoth shield, or mastodon shield, whatever you call it. And then, boom, sword. And then we we'll just fly out of the sky. Like, but he would always catch it. No, he'd land on a rock first sometimes. And then he'd pick it up. But other times, I remember he just, it comes down and then he just catches it. Boom. Power sword. Finish you. Finish him. Boom. Right there. Slashes you. Game over. Lights out. Night, night. And there we have Megazord. Again. 30 years. Top notch. Bandai America. Like, I like these other Megazords that come out. They're super cool. But I feel like I'm gonna break them. <laughs> break them. Oh, but, um. Hasbro one. Kind of cool. That stays on my fidget my that stays on my fidget shelf. <laughs> that stays on my fidget shelf. Can't even say it. Fidget shelf. I gotta name it something else now. Here you have it. Megazord. Red Ranger. Got our guest star in here. And uh Morph. Oh. Boom. That's it. That's the lineup right here. Mighty Morphin in a nutshell. That's what it's all about. So that's me, Richie923. This is Geek Status. See you for the next one.